the match between Kevin Natividad and Milo Jones, at least I hope it's going to happen on October 31st, last time. Natividad, well, he was unlucky, I mean, it happened what it what happened, and uh, right now, let's discuss about fighters. Miles Jones, 5'7", 68, is his rich bantamweight fighter, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, and uh, Miles Jones has actually earned his UFC contract against Richie Santiago in 2019. Then he outworked Cole Smith in UFC, but uh, lost to Mario Bautista via flying knee to ground and pound, and uh, got to say, he showed some really, really good performance at LFA. He outworked Adrian Yanis, the guy I interviewed. He has few submission wins, like guillotine chokes, arm triangle chokes, few punch victories. You can call him a well-rounded mixed martial artist, pretty much well-rounded, trained in every aspect of the fight, and uh, very, very tough opponent, you know. Kevin Natividad, I was discussing last time about Natividad, also bantamweight fighter, 5'6". His reach is uh, 70 inches, which uh, should mean he should have an uh, advantage over Miles Jones in the stand-up. But of course, this doesn't have to mean anything anywhere. <sighs> he came from LFA and from victories over Tyler Bielecki, Tom Nee, Andy Perez, Kyle Estrada. LFA is usually a good step in everybody's career, as well as you know. It uh, usually leads to UFC or some better promotions and... Uh, Kevin Natividad is, uh, well, we can call him a cardio machine, well for many, many guys. Against Kyle Estrada, he stopped the opponent via punches, very much well trained everywhere. Fair with chokes, fair with submission game, but his submission defense is outstanding because, I mean, he has never been finished. The only loss two of his career came to Glenn Becker. And uh, Miles Jones on the other side, he's also never been submitted, so you can expect an all-around war. Will be very very fun to watch, and both of these guys are very very well trained, well rounded. From what I've seen, I should give a very slight advantage to Natividad in the stand up. That's uh, where it should go, and in cardio aspect of the fight. But uh, anyway, Miles Jones on the other side. Uh, Miles Jones is also skillful on the ground, so ground fighting. <laughs> it's kind of hard to say ground fighting. Clinching, wrestling, don't have much info to to talk about it, but I think as the fight uh, advances to later rounds, I believe Natividad's pace uh, will be better and better. His opponent is also a cardio machine, but anyway, from what I've seen in the fight against Irvin Rivera, from what I've seen in the fight against Tom Nee, Andy Perez, I've got to say that uh, I believe Natividad has slightly better chances to win the fight. Very much slightly greater, but uh, this is going to be a tough fight. This opponent is tougher than Natividad's initial opponent, but I hope he's going to win very slight advantage to Natividad, but this is very, very hard fight to pick. Going to be interesting for sure.